In today's example, we're going to use a layer mask to composite or blend two different images on top of one another to make a seamless composition. So here's going to be my base image, Mr. Chicken. Now I'm going to load up another image. Oh, let's try this. get rid of chicken for the time being. And to start with I can see that my horse is pointed the wrong direction. So we are going to transform him, edit transform, we're going to flip him horizontally. So the next thing I want to do is, it's not much of a blend at this point, um, I want to reveal the chicken from behind this horse but I want to retain the horse's mouth. So to do that, well, there's a couple ways you could do it. One way would just be to start erasing the horse and reveal the chicken. Great idea in concept, but if you erase too much, it's going to be very difficult to put it back in. And if you want to do some manipulations, put a little bit more in later, you can't just undo it. So to make a mask, it's this little button down here. Add layer mask. Great. So the way it, what a layer mask does is instead of erasing, what's white will show and what's black becomes transparent. So we can reveal the, the layer or image underneath without totally erasing it, we're just hiding it in a sense. Again, I'll demonstrate here. So you can see the white as I'm painting, painting with white, is erasing, or appears to be erasing, the horse head. So I'm going to do a rough, I'm going to rough it out, just to get an idea. And we'll start manipulating this a little better here in a moment. Before I forget, I did want to say that if you hold down the Alt key and click on the mask, just the mask over here, what it does is it shows only the mask. So you can see I've got this really weird, strange shape going on here. All of the mask is what's been erased from the horse picture. All the white is revealed or stays revealed. You can always go back in and clean this up after you've uh, kind of got the pieces or parts of the picture. All right, well, after about another 30 minutes, I have gotten to a satisfactory result. Um, pretty happy with it. Pretty ridiculous looking chicken. I think I'll call this one funky chicken. Um, but have a look at the results. You know, somewhat believable, even though it doesn't follow the, you know, facial structure of either a horse or a chicken exactly. But, so, without, 
and with. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.